I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually thought Flunderese was done for once they lost the barrier statue, but uh, turns out I was wrong. Not only is that deck still really good, I'll even go as far as to say that it's infinitely better than what people are giving credit for. Of course, being a deck that doesn't lose the Dimension Shifter and actually can play the card really helps a lot. That means that a solid 33% of the time you can steal games just by activating one single card. And of course, it is a deck that can utilize both Pot of Prosperity and Duality for extra consistency. And Flunderies is also a very proactive deck that snowballs a lot, so if you can't stop them, they will destroy you. Their ability to grind is unmatched with any other deck because even if they top deck the worst bird, if they have a stacked banish pile, they will be able to go like plus 5. Basically, the longer the game drags on, the likelier Flunderies is gonna be winning. And because of the fact that Empan prevents special summon monsters in attack position from activating their effects, the deck already has a really nice matchup against a bunch of decks. Empan is extremely good against Runic Twin Sprite, which is probably one of the best decks to play this format. Because of the fact that that deck doesn't really have a battle phase, it's gonna be really rough for them to even jump over the Empan. And most people are also cutting removal cards like Wind Up Kitten and Onimaru Soul Sweeper. And of course, Empen is always a tribute summon monster, so cards like Flashing Fire will not work. You really have to rely on Freezing Curses to negate it. But then again, the Freezing Curses is once per turn, so if they have two Empens, you are completely dead. And it's really not like you can say that Flunderese loses out to the Runic cards because when they banish cards from the top of your deck, you might actually unbrick thanks to them. Imagine if all you had was like an eagle in a hand with nothing else, and your opponent activates Runic Tip and banishes Robina. Basically, this is where you give a big hug to your opponent. And of course, just like any other one card combo deck, Flunderies is capable of playing a lot of utility cards in their deck. People don't really like main decking a lot of hand traps in Flunderies, they only play Dimension Shifter and then they play Dark Ruler and Evenly instead of every other hand trap. Because again, you got Pot of Duality and Prosperity, so if you can dig into Dark Ruler Evenly, you're gonna be breaking huge boards going second. And in a world where everybody underestimates Flunderies and nobody's really prepared for it, uh, everybody's gonna have like no side deck for the deck. Bestials are useless against Flunderies, Dark Ruler trades like one for one, Evenly doesn't do that much, and also it's not like you can say that back removal is that good. Sure, you drew Duster, but what if your opponent chains Dreaming Town or Harpy's Feather Storm? Your turn is basically skipped, better luck next turn, if you end up having one. And look, if you're playing Labyrinth, you better be more than ready against that deck. What if they surge Dark Simorg on your ass? That's basically a Denko Saka right there. And paired up with Anti-Spell Fragrance, nothing is scarier. And the Kashira matchup really isn't too bad because you can set up Scary Sea so that they can't special summon and all they can really do is normal summon. They don't play any normal summon so their only win condition it would be to hard draw the birth. And like I said, any link-based strategy such as Math Mech or Sky Striker will be getting destroyed by Empen. And if you need your graveyard to live, you're gonna be really mad when they shift through you. Honestly, nobody's safe from these pesky little birds, so you really need to know how to counter them. The deck has an extremely tough time with Jolin Logbird, and Effect Villar and Imperm are not too bad against the deck either if they don't hard draw the quick play spell card. But if both Flunderies and their opponents brick, I believe that Flunderies has a better shot at winning the top deck war. Anyways, that's all I had for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know your thoughts about Flunderies in the comment section below. As as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.